is 1940. France falls. The battle for liberation begins, if only covertly, within the hearts and minds of French patriots. The battle for France will one day begin, but the fight for freedom, that endless quest for liberty, is well underway. Resistance in all of its forms will take on the very meaning of life, as ordinary citizens smuggle Jewish orphans out of France, print clandestine newspapers, and undertake reconnaissance, armed engagement, and sabotage against the enemy. The fierce need of the human will for liberty is pitted against the tyrannies of evil, and the battle for freedom is joined. Set within the myriad landscapes of wartime France and England, the dawn is the story of a French aristocrat, a U.S. Army colonel, and the woman they love. It is a tale of treachery and timeless heroism. The dawn chronicles the unforgettable dramas of the dark years in France, 1940 to 1944. The story unfolds like the forbidden tricolore against the backdrop of war, death, love, birth, history, and the illusion of peace. What General Vagon calls the Battle of France is over. I expect that the Battle of Britain is about to begin. The National Broadcasting Company invites you to listen to Glenn Miller's music. Hi, soldier. This is Alan Prescott calling the shots for Glenn Miller and his orchestra. Vive la France, libre, dans l'honneur et dans l'indépendance. If the British Empire and its Commonwealth last for a thousand years, men will still say this was their finest hour. <laughs>